イフター TV 念のために確認しないとな人間だと思われたすけど It's Danny from e v e t a n TV and I'm still playing Siren Blood Curse.、Um, it's actually been a very enjoyable game, in all honesty.、Um, as you can see, this is previously what's happened. What I've done. I don't think I've actually done this, I think it's just videos. Yeah, that was fucking scary. Okay. Siren Blood Curse. This would actually be a good film. Leading Melissa Gal. Ah,、oh, I think I'm the little girl. Great. Find a clue to the whereabouts of Bella Monroe. This is why you need Google. This is why you needed iPhones in Japan. Alright, <coughs> let's do this. Oh no, I'm not a girl. So, I'm Melissa. Yeah, you can climb. I'm actually just trying to. You just run up to it, which is good. But. Whoa! Need to go. Ah, here it is. Go inside. Um. It's been a very dark game, but I think you know when they're around because you can actually hear them. I do like this woman though. She looks like she's not going to give up. Alright. <coughs> Okay. And if that's it, that isn't the freakiest thing I've ever seen in the game, then I'm not Wyatt. Always close doors behind you. Always close doors behind you. Like he was never there.、Oh, just kind of having shit. Let's just have a shit. I think it's the safest place in a toilet cubicle. In all honesty, it's my safest place. Yeah? Alright. I don't know where this creepy spider nurse woman is. I can hear her outside. So when you brace the door, it holds it so nothing can get in. Oh, great, I can hear it. <sighs> you can't peek out. Which is a big problem because other games you'd be able to peek through and see what's guanin' outside. Yeah, I said guanin' and what? So, um. Alright, should we just risk it? Actually, go first person. Yeah. Fuck that. Oh, really? I'm just shitting myself right now. I don't want to go out there to that thing. Give me a gun. And I'll happily go out and shoot the bitch. But I've got, I've got a flashlight. Look, there's no like, inventory screen. Is there? No, there's no inventory screen. There's a map. A status. You got a signal flare and a flashlight.
an archive. Help. Yes, please. <laughs> and options. Uh, you seriously, seriously think about this. Let's, uh, but you can't select it, which is a disappointment. All right, let's. Crouch. Oh. What the fuck? Crouch. There we go. Let's move up. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Something. Something can see me. Oh shit! Fuck! It looks like a dog. Fuck. Get off me, you bitch. Don't make me bitch slap you. Bitch slap it. Ah. Oh, great. Mission failed. Uh, mission failed. Um, so yeah, that's Siren Blood Curse. In all honesty, um, I'm just going to sum it up in my words. Fuck that. Seriously. It's quite probably the creepiest, freakiest, weirdest, maddest mind fucked games I've ever played it's just you seriously don't know what's gonna come and you don't have a weapon I mean yes a couple of characters you manage to pick up a pistol along the way but when you're in missions like this it's a stealth horror and I've never been able to say that about games horror games before because you know, in Resident Evil, things coming at you, you, you can hit them. You can shoot them. And the running, the, the freaking controllers on, controls on this game don't make it easy for you to run away from stuff. Because it's just crazy, it's weird, it's, it's a good game. But, if you was to put Chris Redfield in this sort of environment... I think this game could be classic but you get stuck with a camera crew none of them have got military background and you play a little girl you have to play as a little girl and you have to stealth through a hospital now come on you know seriously that's like I like imagine in Resident Evil they went Chris you're staying back here we're gonna send that tiny Tim tiny Tim go fuck yourself you know it's mad and it's such a good game, but it's let down by. I know they put. They do, they've done what they wanted. They've gone for what they went for. They wanted you to shit your pants. Alright? And. They've taken Japanese horror. And they've actually made it into a game. And I never thought I'd see, say this. But well done. Well done. You've made it a good game. Fuck me. And fuck you for putting me through it. And I'm serious. It's uh it makes you wanna play a game where you can wind down a bit, you know? It's making you wanna play a game where you don't have to worry. Do you know what I feel like putting on right now? I feel like playing some FIFA or you know, I feel like playing something where you know there's nothing like this. It, it's time to wind down, you know, calm down, control your heartbeat, love, alright? But props to the person who made the game because I'm actually, I am playing it through AV. I'm not playing it on HD. I think the game would be much smoother on HD. Um, but to sum it all up, this game 
the designers have gone here's your characters here's your shovel there's your enemies fuck off so thank you uh, for watching um, and well I'm Danny from Eve Dan TV um, so yeah subscribe at Eve Dan TV on Twitter um, email us at Eve Dan TV at gmail.com uh, if you have any tips any ideas you know if there's a game you think would scare the living shit out of me then tell me and I'll I will give it a try extra Kleenex though extra clean so yeah extra Andrex on on the show make sure I've got a six pack with me this time instead of the single beer so yeah subscribe join us you know thank you very much hope you enjoyed it you fucking hope you enjoyed it more than I did thank you